Welcome to Just Stories, we hope you enjoy the story. The Six-Day War, the Arab-Israeli Conflict of 1967, by Just Stories. Chapter 1, The Roots of Conflict, Tracing the Origins of the Arab-Israeli Dispute. The Arab-Israeli conflict has been one of the most protracted and complex conflicts of the modern era. It has its roots in a history of political, religious, and territorial disputes that date back centuries and continue to fuel tensions between the various communities involved. In this chapter, we will explore the origins of the Arab-Israeli dispute, tracing its history from the 19th century to the outbreak of the Six-Day War in 1967. The roots of the Arab-Israeli conflict can be traced back to the late 19th century when Zionist settlers began to immigrate to Palestine, then part of the Ottoman Empire. The Zionists, primarily European Jews, sought to establish a national homeland for the Jewish people and viewed Palestine as the historic site of the ancient Jewish kingdom. This influx of Jewish immigrants sparked tensions with the local Arab population, who saw the Zionist settlers as a threat to their own aspirations for independence and self-determination. During the First World War, the Ottoman Empire was defeated and Palestine came under the control of the British Empire. The British government issued the Balfour Declaration in 1917, which stated that Britain viewed with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. This declaration further inflamed tensions between Jews and Arabs in Palestine as it appeared to legitimize Zionist claims to the land. In the aftermath of the war, the League of Nations granted Britain a mandate to govern Palestine with the goal of establishing a Jewish national homeland. This mandate was bitterly contested by the Arab population who saw it as an infringement on their own rights and aspirations. Palestinian Arabs staged several violent uprisings against the British and Jewish settlers in the 1920s and 1930s, leading to a cycle of violence and retaliation that persisted for decades. The situation in Palestine grew more complex during and after the Second World War, as the Holocaust in Europe brought renewed urgency to Zionist aspirations for a Jewish homeland. Many Jewish refugees fled to Palestine, while Palestinian Arabs were increasingly marginalized and dispossessed of their land and resources. The United Nations proposed a plan to partition Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, but this proposal was rejected by Arab leaders, who saw it as a betrayal of their own national aspirations. The Arab-Israeli conflict escalated into full-blown war in 1948, when Israel declared its independence and several Arab armies invaded Palestine. The ensuing conflict, known as the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, resulted in the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians and the establishment of the State of Israel. This war set the stage for decades of conflict and violence between Israelis and Arabs, with both sides accusing the other of aggression and territorial expansionism. In the years that followed, tensions between Israelis and Arabs remained high, with several more wars and numerous smaller conflicts erupting throughout the region. The Six-Day War in 1967 was a pivotal moment in this ongoing conflict, marking a decisive victory for Israel and solidifying its control over the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and other disputed territories. In conclusion, the Arab-Israeli conflict is a deeply complex and multifaceted conflict with roots that stretch back over a century. The conflict has been fueled by a range of political, religious, and territorial disputes, and has defied numerous attempts at resolution and peacemaking. Chapter 2, The Battlefront, An Overview of the Military Campaigns The Six-Day War was a decisive military conflict fought between Israel and several of its Arab neighbors in June 1967. The war was notable for its short duration and the scale of Israel's victory, which saw the Israeli military rapidly capture large swathes of territory from its Arab adversaries. In this chapter, we will provide an overview of the military campaigns that took place during the war and explore the key factors that contributed to Israel's success. The Six-Day War began on June 5, 1967, with a surprise Israeli air attack on Egyptian airfields. The Israeli Air Force destroyed most of Egypt's air force on the ground, giving Israel air superiority for the duration of the war. In the days that followed, Israel launched a ground invasion of the Sinai Peninsula, which was then under Egyptian control. 
the Israeli army quickly overran Egyptian defenses and captured the entire Sinai Peninsula within a matter of days. At the same time, Israel launched attacks on Jordanian and Syrian positions in the West Bank and the Golan Heights, respectively. The Israeli army encountered stiff resistance from Jordanian and Syrian forces, but ultimately succeeded in capturing the West Bank, East Jerusalem, and the Golan Heights. These territorial gains gave Israel control over a significant portion of the land that had been disputed between Israel and its Arab neighbors. The military campaign was characterized by several key factors that contributed to Israel's success. First and foremost was the Israeli military's superior training, tactics, and technology. Israel had been preparing for a potential war with its Arab neighbors for years and had invested heavily in its military capabilities. Israeli soldiers were highly motivated and well-trained, and the Israeli military had access to advanced weapons systems, including fighter jets, tanks, and artillery. Another key factor was Israel's use of surprise and deception. The Israeli military launched its air attack on Egyptian airfields without warning, catching the Egyptian Air Force off guard and allowing Israel to gain air superiority quickly. Israeli forces also used deceptive tactics, such as feints and false radio transmissions, to confuse and mislead Arab forces. Finally, the Arab armies were hampered by a range of logistical and strategic challenges, including poor communication, inadequate training, and a lack of unity among the various Arab nations involved. Egypt, for example, was heavily reliant on Soviet military equipment, but had not been adequately trained to use it effectively. The Jordanian army was poorly coordinated and suffered from internal divisions, while the Syrian military was weakened by a series of purges that had removed many of its most competent officers. In conclusion, the military campaigns of the Six-Day War were characterized by a range of factors that contributed to Israel's swift and decisive victory. The Israeli military's superior training, tactics, and technology were key factors, as was its use of surprise and deception. The Arab armies, meanwhile, were hampered by a range of logistical and strategic challenges. Chapter 3, The Human Cost, Examining the Impact of the War on Civilians The Six-Day War was a military conflict that had a profound impact on the civilian populations of Israel, the Arab states, and the occupied territories. The war resulted in displacement, destruction, and trauma for countless individuals and communities, and had long-lasting social, economic, and political consequences. In this chapter, we will examine the human cost of the Six-Day War and explore the experiences of civilians caught in the crossfire. One of the most significant impacts of the Six-Day War was the displacement of Palestinian refugees. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were forced to flee their homes in the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem either due to Israeli military action or out of fear for their safety. Many of these refugees ended up in overcrowded and under-resourced refugee camps, where they faced difficult living conditions and uncertain futures. The displacement of Palestinian refugees remains one of the most enduring and tragic legacies of the Six-Day War. The war also had a profound impact on infrastructure and resources in the occupied territories. Israeli military action resulted in widespread destruction of homes, schools, hospitals, and other vital infrastructure, leading to significant social and economic disruption. In addition, Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip had profound implications for the development and governance of these territories, leading to ongoing debates about sovereignty, citizenship, and human rights. The psychological trauma inflicted on civilians during the war was also significant. Many individuals and communities experienced intense fear and anxiety, as well as feelings of loss and displacement. Children, in particular, were deeply impacted by the war, with many suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and other psychological conditions. The long-term impact of this trauma continues to be felt by individuals and communities to this day. Finally, the Six-Day War had significant implications for the broader regional and international communities. The war marked a turning point in the history of the Arab-Israeli conflict and set the stage for future conflicts and tensions in the region. 
It also had significant implications for the broader geopolitical landscape, influencing the policies and relationships of major global powers such as the United States and the Soviet Union. In conclusion, the human cost of the Six-Day War was significant and far-reaching. The war had profound impacts on civilians in Israel, the Arab states, and the occupied territories, resulting in displacement, destruction, trauma, and ongoing political and social challenges. Chapter 4, The Aftermath, Assessing the Legacy of the Six-Day War The Six-Day War was a pivotal moment in the history of the Middle East, and its legacy continues to be felt today. The war had significant political, social, and economic implications for Israel, the Arab states, and the wider international community, and has shaped the dynamics of the region ever since. In this chapter, we will assess the legacy of the Six-Day War, exploring its implications for the various actors involved and the wider implications for regional and international politics. One of the most significant legacies of the Six-Day War was the territorial gains made by Israel. The Israeli military captured the West Bank, East Jerusalem, the Gaza Strip, and the Golan Heights during the war, and subsequently established settlements in these territories. These settlements have been a major point of contention between Israel and the Palestinians, with many Palestinians viewing them as illegal under international law and as an obstacle to a future Palestinian state. The war also had significant implications for the broader regional balance of power. Israel's military victory in the war and its subsequent territorial gains cemented its position as a dominant military power in the region. This had implications for the relationships between Israel and its Arab neighbors, as well as for the balance of power between Israel and other major regional actors such as Iran and Turkey. The Six-Day War also had significant social and political implications for Israeli and Arab societies. In Israel, the war was celebrated as a moment of triumph and national unity, and contributed to a sense of pride and identity among Israelis. However, the war also contributed to a sense of militarism and nationalism in Israeli society, which has had implications for political discourse and policymaking in the decades since. In the Arab states, the war was a significant setback and contributed to a sense of defeat and humiliation among Arab populations. The war also had significant implications for the regional balance of power, with the weakening of Arab military capabilities and the rise of Israel as a dominant regional power. This had implications for the relationships between Arab states, as well as for the broader dynamics of regional politics. Finally, the Six-Day War had significant implications for the wider international community. The war drew the attention of major global powers such as the United States and the Soviet Union, and had implications for the Cold War era politics of the time. The war also had significant implications for international law and norms, particularly with regards to issues such as territorial sovereignty and the use of force in international relations. In conclusion, the legacy of the Six-Day War is complex and multifaceted. The war had significant implications for the territorial, social, and political dynamics of the region, as well as for the relationships between Israel, the Arab states, and the wider international community. Chapter 5, Lessons Learned, Drawing Conclusions from the Six-Day War The Six-Day War was a pivotal moment in the history of the Middle East, and its legacy continues to be felt today. The war had significant implications for regional and international politics, and has shaped the dynamics of the region ever since. In this chapter, we will draw conclusions from the Six-Day War, examining the lessons that can be learned from this pivotal moment in Middle Eastern history. One of the key lessons of the Six-Day War is the importance of military preparedness and strategic planning. Israel's military victory in the war was due in part to its superior training, tactics, and technology, as well as its effective use of surprise and deception. The Arab states, meanwhile, were hampered by a range of logistical and strategic challenges, including poor communication, inadequate training, and a lack of unity among the various Arab nations involved. This highlights the importance of investing in military capabilities and strategic planning, as well as the importance of unity and coordination among allies in times of crisis. Another key lesson of the Six-Day War is the importance of diplomacy and negotiation in resolving conflicts. The war was a significant setback for the cause of peace in the Middle East, 
and set the stage for future conflicts and tensions in the region. The ongoing Arab-Israeli conflict underscores the importance of finding peaceful and equitable solutions to the underlying political, religious, and territorial disputes that have fueled the conflict for decades. This requires a commitment to dialogue, compromise, and respect for the rights and aspirations of all the communities involved. The Six-Day War also highlights the importance of human rights and international law in shaping the conduct of nations and the resolution of conflicts. The displacement of Palestinian refugees, the destruction of homes and infrastructure, and the psychological trauma inflicted on civilians during the war underscore the need for greater attention to the human cost of conflicts and for a commitment to upholding the principles of international law and human rights in all aspects of political and social life. Finally, the Six-Day War highlights the importance of regional and international cooperation in promoting peace and stability in the Middle East. The war drew the attention of major global powers such as the United States and the Soviet Union and had implications for the Cold War era politics of the time. The ongoing challenges facing the region, including the ongoing Arab-Israeli conflict, underscore the importance of continued engagement and collaboration between regional and international actors in working towards a more peaceful and just future for all those affected by the conflict. In conclusion, the lessons of the Six-Day War are numerous and far-reaching. The war highlights the importance of military preparedness, diplomacy, human rights, and regional and international cooperation in shaping the conduct of nations and the resolution of conflicts. Thank you for watching our story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So you don't miss out on our next video.